Hello everybody, SneakyA05 here, back again for another model train review. Today I'm here to review to you guys the Broadway Limited N Scale E6 for the Santa Fe Railroad. And whoa, do I have a lot of stuff to tell you about this locomotive. I like the model, but I don't like how it's made. And I'll, there's many problems with this model. I mean, of course, the main problem for me is that I run my locomotives on a DCC Easy Command controller, which is probably one of the worst in model railroading. Like, even their own DC controller is better than that, and I'm talking about Backman. Backman makes, makes pretty bad products, and by pretty bad products, here's an example. The 060 from the Yard Boss train set, which I painted pretty badly to make it look weathered and unused. And I used a, a rust paint that I bought at Michael's. But anyway, back to the locomotive. For as much as we paid for this model, my family and me, I mean, of course, I got this for Christmas last year, and I still haven't gotten a down to review for it, but it's still, it's not that good of a model. And I'll show you why. So, let me go over here to my controller. Let me switch it on. Of course, remember, uh, right when you switch it on, the light turns on, which is pretty cool. Of course, hit the function button, and I can turn the light off, and turn it back on. It's got a pretty nice uh, bright LED in the uh, nose right there. But let's listen to some noises. So number one, hmm, no noises, huh? Four many noses. Hmm, and it's uh, it's dead. As you can see, it's dead. You gotta restart the controller again. Turn it back on. It's back on. The function button, number six. That turns the sound on. Yeah, it's got some pretty nice sound for an end scale looking at it. Number one is bell. Two is one. Three is a uh, crank. And it just restarted itself. I don't know why, but that's it. Number four is the uh, brakes. Break the leaf. Five is uh, increasing the, uh, the, 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 yeah, I can't think of the word right now because I'm just too tired to think of the word, I guess. I can go up to about four stages of this. It's a uh, power ramping up. And then six is, of course, to bring the power down and also to turn the sounds on the locomotive. But not to turn them on. See, if you're cheap like me and you go for the vacuum controller, everything runs a lot horribly. Number seven, it does nothing. Eight, use the sound, which is actually pretty nice. Number nine, does nothing. And ten, of course, you know, until it's off the light and back on. Now let's do some running on the locomotive. Forward. And it stopped. Great. Let me fix that. A little. Oop, there goes my tree. That's the slowest until it stops. Oh, dip. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, nope. There we go. Alright. We'll stop that. Put it in reverse. Looks like I have to restart the controller again. I wonder, have you guys figured out the problem yet? What's wrong with this locomotive? Oh, there we go. Now it's rebooted. Let's go backwards. Oh. Now, I'm gonna turn off the controller. I'm just gonna let you guys know that I had just cleaned this locomotive 
I lubricated it. I did everything to it. Everything that I could possibly need to let this locomotive run just fine. But, and I, I even cleaned the track. I even cleaned the track. But that's not the case. It's just the locomotive itself. It's built so poorly that it, it, can, it can't even run that well anymore. I have only had this for a year, and I've barely even run this one. And I've cleaned it, I've maintenanced it, and it still won't run correctly. Even the first time out of the box, it wouldn't run correctly. I mean, the sounds are nice. Everything on the locomotive is nice. The details are great, but it's just poor model making. I think Broadway Limited is only good for their HO scale products. I don't think they're that good in N scale. I mean, I've seen their uh, their 482 Mountain Type and N scale, and it, I've seen how jittery it is and how well it doesn't run. Um, and then there's Centipedes. I've seen how uh, jittery those are as well. Everything in N scale for them is pretty much just jittery and not as well as their HO scale line. So if I were if I were you, I mean this is the this is the later run. This is the the 2016 run, I think, is what it was. I would not recommend buying their E6. I mean, I'm not sure if there's any other companies in there that make an N scale E6, but just even Broadway Limited, it's it's, it's bad. It's a really bad locomotive. I don't like it. But anyways, that's just my opinion. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys later for more. And uh, good night.